How to buy and close put options on Weeble Desktop the right way. So many people blindly jump into trades without knowing how to close correctly. They end up trapped and lose money. Let's walk through the trade process step by step all beginning with how to set up the options chain correctly. On Weeble, the first thing you need to do is pay attention to this line at the bottom that says the quotes are delayed by 15 minutes and a way to pay for real-time data. Now, you don't want to do this because there's a little-known workaround to get free real-time data. Just place your first options trade on Weeble, then jump into the live customer service chat and ask them for real-time data. They'll give this to you for free as long as you trade options at least once per month on the platform. The second thing you need to do is go up to the drop down near the top that says both, then click puts. This filters the options chain by puts only, keeping it far less overwhelming and more clean to trade from. To buy, pick an expiration date and a strike price. In a second, I'll show you how to close your trade anytime leading up to expiration to lock in profit or minimize losses. So let's say we predict that by October 31st, 2025, Tesla will be trading at or below $360 per share. We'll go with something like the $380 strike because at expiration, Tesla needs to be trading at $365.05 or lower in order for us to be profitable. To trade, click on the ask price and the order entry box will automatically fill with that buy order. Now, Weeble defaults the number of contracts to 10, so adjust this to whatever you're trading. We're gonna go with one here, and to the right of that is the order type. We're just gonna leave this at limit, and then you have the limit price. We want to balance a good price with quick order execution, so what we're gonna do is click on the pencil icon to the right of the limit price, and hit mid price. This is the sweet middle right between the bid and the ask. To the right of that is time and force. You can choose to have this order be open and fillable for the same trading day only, or for 60 days after placing the order. At the bottom, you'll see the estimated order total in the form of a debit, meaning the money is leaving your account, and then you have a transaction fee. Now, there are no fees for trading options or stock on Weeble, this is a regulatory fee that everyone's required to pay no matter the broker you're trading on. Hit place order, and as soon as the order executes, you're officially in the position. Now, how do you close the position anytime leading up to expiration? Okay, so let's say Tesla drops massively tomorrow and your put position becomes profitable. What we need to do to close this position and secure this profit is head back to the options chain, go to the same expiration date and strike price, and this time sell a put using the same number of contracts that you purchased. That's really important. To do this on the options chain, instead of clicking the ask price, you're gonna click the bid price. This will auto populate the order entry box with a sell order this time. We'll go ahead and change the quantity back to one, the number that we purchased, and then you can continue filling out the order form just like when you purchase. At the bottom, you'll see the estimated order total in the form of a credit this time, meaning money's coming into your account. The difference between this credit and the debit you paid when you bought the put is your profit or loss. Hit place order, and as soon as the sell order executes, you've officially exited the put position and there's nothing else you need to do. For how to buy and close call options on Weeble Desktop, you'll wanna watch this video here.